Paris was all Alison's idea. It'll be fun, she said. Nice food, nice wine. <laughs> I wasn't keen. Fun? It'll be hot, expensive and full of... What? French people? <laughs> no. Tourists? <laughs> she laughed. Of course it'll be full of tourists, Pete. It's the summer. <laughs> so we had a row. We row a lot these days. I don't know why. In the end she got away though, so we booked the Eurostar. Not cheap. Even got a hotel in London for the night before. Checked in early yesterday. Alison wanted to make a day of it. The holiday starts here, she said. And then she mentioned a bus tour. <laughs> a bus tour? I thought he said holiday, not busman's holiday. I drive around the things all chuffing day. Why do I want to waste my holiday on one? She was off with me after that. Even when I took her to this fancy pants wine bar. I wouldn't mind, but I was making an effort. Do you know how much I paid for a bottle of wine? 28 quid? This morning as we made our way to St Pancras, she still had her face on. Look, if you're going to be like this, maybe you should just go without me, I said, joking like. Suits me, she shot back and strode off with a suitcase. I went for a coffee and waited. And waited. She didn't come back. And she had the tickets. I knew she wouldn't go by herself. By herself, no chance. <laughs> so I messaged her, told her where I was heading. Eventually, I got this. Bonjour. Just we arrive. <laughs> so her anger. She said I could come over on one condition. I took a bus tour of Paris. <sighs> I'm not keen. I'll have to get a new ticket for a start. That's not cheap. Still, suppose we'll look on the bright side. At least the wine over there won't be as expensive.